Hey Paul, what's that plant? Well this guy here, Scott, is a beautiful South African native. It's a succulent, it actually grows to like a succulent tree. Um, but it's got a ton of names. Aloe ferox is the uh, one of the names, or the bitter aloe, or commonly I think it's known as the cape aloe. So um, it uh, will grow six to nine feet. If you Google it, you can see some huge examples that are native to Australia. It's like a gigantic tree. Beautiful, gigantic red flowers shoot out. Um, and these are also, of what I was reading, if I remember right, these are commonly mistaken for a different type of aloe, but the, the hallmark to prove that this is the cape aloe is that it has spines on the back here. So hopefully you can see these spines right here on the back side. Um, but that is how I was able to make sure that this is actually a cape aloe. Um, hardy to 20 to 25 degrees, um, orangish red flowers like I said. Um, this actually has healing properties similar to aloe vera. So people will consume this plant and you could eat it or use it uh, for medicinal purposes like sunburn and uh, uh, things like that. So it's a medicinal plant in Africa and uh, it's a lot like uh, aloe vera, just a gigantic form. So if you are bored right now, you definitely need to Google this, uh, Google Cape Aloe, and I want you to go see some of the gigantic examples that will blow your mind. So hopefully in 30 years I'll be around here still and can see this thing as a beautiful, gigantic tree. Um, I actually saw one in uh, Rancho Bernardo. It was uh, about 12 feet tall, blooming. It was beautiful, um, and then they removed it. So I was really sad to see that it just disappeared one day. Hopefully it didn't kill it. Otherwise, um, I wish I could have had it in my yard. So give us a like and subscribe. We'll have some more big succulents uh, coming your way. We have some different types of tree aloes uh, that we're gonna share soon. So give us a like and a subscribe. Bam. Dude, it's creepy.